Good morning, everyone. We're at uh, Orlando at Lake Nona. Welcome to Lake Nona Sculpture Garden, today's PK Adventures. We're on the scenic route about 40 miles from Cape Canaveral, adjacent to the Orlando Airport. So you're going to hear that throughout the video. But we're in a 50,000 square foot sculpture garden, as Ryan said, uh, directly adjacent to the Wave Hotel. Uh, it's a, the Lewis collection of various sculptures that we're going to take a look at. We'll try to hit the placards for each one. This is a completely free uh, activity to come and do if you're looking to kill some time, if you get in town early before your next cruise or other adventure. Let's go see what it's got for us. Definitely an overall nice area. They have fake grass, but makes sense to keep it nice because of all the foot traction. Lots of Florida foliage. Gives it a nice tropical feel in and around the sculptures. So this is another interesting piece that you've probably seen in other parts of the world as well. The Upright Motive Number no. 9 from Henry Moore. So this is definitely an interesting sculpture, Lita and the Swan, which was created by Fernando Botero. Have a pretty cool area to eat out here. It's a little swing set with a table. We have sculpture entitled The Cloister Conspiracy from Philip Jackson. Definitely an interesting piece with the three up front and then a short distance behind them, the person who feels that the three are having a conspiracy. Here's another sculpture from Jeffrey called Passion. Another sculpture from Jeffrey called Faith. Another piece by Jeffrey. This one is entitled Time. Ah, I see it. One of the most famous pieces of artwork, the Charging Bull by Arturo de Modica. They have a replication of this one at the University of South Florida. They are the bulls. It's also a representation of this in New York. Just like Balls on- Balls solid steel. <laughs> You're supposed to- You're Supposed to rub them for good luck. You rub both so I can get double luck. I guess since everybody else is rubbing it for good luck. There we go. Good luck, just like on Wall Street. Before we leave, I need to do a cheesy movie trivia. Name this movie, comment below. Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. Comment below. Moving up to another piece, Jete 2 by Enzo Plazoto. I see some familiar lines here. It's Mother and Child by Henry Moore. See, it's very similar material. And again, very similar lines to his other sculpture. This piece is entitled Postmodern Man from Eric Goldier.
So I really like this piece as well because really you can look at it in two different ways as with all artwork. First way, as we are looking at it now, is the conspirators are all up front with the single person in the very back. So the thought process could be that the three in the front are having the conspiracy and the fourth one feels out of place. However, it can change the perspective and it could be different. Let's take a look. And who's conspiring against who now? Let's talk interpretation. Just like we saw with the previous conspiracy, your perception could be anything and you can change it to be anything. What's your perception on this particular piece of art? Wow, you guys have dirty minds. It's just Leda and the Swan. So this particular sculpture garden will be a rotating collection. And there's no information right now because it is such a new Oakland area on the length of time the artwork will stay here. But there will always be fresh artwork to look at. You can stay at the Lake Nona Wave Hotel. Only a 40 minute drive to get to Port Canaveral. You can always come out here and enjoy the sculptures no cost. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification button. And as always, we'll see you next time on The Scenic Round.